Hi everyone, welcome back to Gabby's Nails though. Thanks for visiting my channel. Please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe button. And if you're extra special, you will hit that bell notification button so that you get notified every time I post a new video. So today's video is going to be me, one, trying out a new nail drill. My other one died, unfortunately. Had to throw her away, but I ordered a new one from Amazon and I'm very excited to try it out. She's modern, she is silver, she is white, and she looks very cute. Hopefully she treats me well and I spend a lot of time with her. So my new nail drill was purchased because my old nail drill died on me. It just died on me. The fuse blew. That's what I think happened. So I had to just order another one on Amazon. That's totally fine. And it came in a few days later and I was able to use it to do this set. So I'm going to show you it. I could put some pictures up on the screen as well and just basically give you a little rundown about this product. So the brand is called Melody Susie. Here is the box. I've never heard of this company before actually and I've never used any of their products before however I looked up the reviews on Amazon and just googling things and found very positive reviews and people were very happy with their purchase when they when they got this nail drill so I figured why not and it's very modern looking compared to my old one so here I will show you what the package looks like so down here you have the e-file handpiece that you hold and you know drill your nails with there's a foot pedal down there as well this is the actual machine part of it the motor is in there and it goes up to 30,000 RPMs, which is perfect for acrylic nails. And it's clearly stated on here the different numbers, how many RPMs is going on. And here's the cord that you plug into the wall so that you can use it. And it also comes with these little drill bits. These usually come with almost every nail drill. They're, they're very basic nail drill bits. So let me show you the actual drill, the motor part of it, and also the e-file handle. I personally do not use the foot pedal ever, so I'm kind of tempted to throw it away, but also one day I might decide that foot pedals are for me, so I might want to use it. So here is the hand piece and here is the actual motor. As you can see, it's pretty sleek in its design and it's honestly super lightweight in comparison to my other nail drill, which I was very used to and I was used to something very heavy in my hand when I was working. So I'm very glad that this is more lightweight. And I also like the finish, this matte silver finish on it. And as for the actual motor part of it, as I said before, you can see the numbers. This button is an on and off button. It glows red when this is on. And then this is the back. So this tells you if it's going forward or backwards, the way that the drill bit is spinning. So if you're right-handed or left-handed, I do my own nails, so I have to flip it whenever I switch hands to do my non-dominant hand. This is where the hand piece goes, and then this is where the plug goes to plug it into the wall. This is the end of the hand piece, and you just follow the arrow, and you look at these arrows, and you just plug it in just like that. And a very cool feature of this that I didn't even realize is that there's a hole straight through it. If you can see, there's a hole straight through it. Can you see my eye? Not really. Um, there's a hole straight through it, so you can put your e-file handle in there when you're not using it and it keeps it keeps it in one place it's not moving around it's not rolling around so I like that and then there's these little holes that you can put your drill bits in if you want to if you're a person who leaves their nail drill out at all times and it's on um, and it's on your desk or countertop and you want to keep it looking nice and presentable to others I think that this is a really good choice because of this holding system and because it holds the nail drill bits here. I personally always put mine back in the box and store it in a closet until I'm ready to use it again. So it's not necessary for me, but I do like the feature that this has that you can hold it in here. So when using it, you can feel it perfectly moving and going much faster and going much slower as you move the dial. So I've I haven't used it all the way at the 30,000. I don't think that's necessary. I use between 10 and 15,000 RPMs. That's enough for me to do my nails and I feel comfortable at that speed. And so here's the handpiece again. I'll put on the screen a little diagram 
I can also put some different information from the website. I ordered this on Amazon, but you can order straight from their website, melodysusie.com. I can link that down below in the description. This nail drill is priced around $55, and I could put the exact price up here as well. What I also found really nice and great and helpful was that when you first receive your item, you have a little card that says like, thanks for ordering. You can register your product online and extend the warranty by six months by doing so. So I did that and I'm very happy about it because who knows, maybe something goes wrong and I need them to fix something or I'm, I'm not happy with it in a few weeks and I, and I want some help or I want a replacement and they seemed like they have very good customer service and that they would do that. So very glad about that. So that's that for the nail drill. Now on to doing my nails. I'm going to be filling in my one, two, three, go full soft cover gel nail. So this middle finger nail here, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it is so much more rounded off than the rest of my nails. The rest of my nails are acrylic and only this middle one is the soft cover gel nail. And I did that to just test it out and show you how to apply that. That was, I think, two videos ago. So I will link that down below and I'll put it up here for you to click on to watch if you haven't seen that video. But this video will be me filling in this nail with acrylic. Yes, I am filling in this full cover soft gel nail with acrylic. Before you all come for me in the comments and tell me I'm doing it wrong and that uh, there's a user error, please just know when Max was on nail career education with Susie, he told her that you can fill in this nail with gel or acrylic. And I am an acrylic girl all the way. If you've watched my videos, you can see that I use mostly acrylic to do my nails. I will randomly try other things and I'll randomly use tips for fun and for length, but acrylics are my go-to and I love it. So that's my medium. I'm used to working with acrylic. That's what I'm gonna do today. And I will see how that turns out for me. If it works, if it doesn't work. If it doesn't, then that's a fail. And if it works, then that's awesome. And hopefully you can learn from me. And if you like acrylic and you want to use acrylic after using your one, two, three, go nails, then you can do that. So without further ado, let's just pop into the video. I will see you at the nail table. So I have filed down the rest of my nails, all except for this one, which is the soft cover full gel nail, the one, two, three, go nail. And my nail has grown out a significant amount, as you can see, and it is super rounded off, whereas my others were super squared off. So I think that's because of the gel. And this is the decal that came off, so don't mind that but this is how it is. There was no lifting here, which was awesome. But I wanna show you guys my new e-file by Melody Suzy. So I like it a lot and I just started using it. So I will show you guys how I use it over here. I have it at about 10,000 RPMs. So let's check out how thin it is compared to my other nails. There you go, you can see that my nail is super thick. I mean, this C-curve on this nail is also not that crazy, but this C-curve is super nice still, and it's just a really thin nail. I'm gonna try and use my nail file, try to use the E-file to increase this tapered look. So that is this nail filed down. Obviously it looks different than the other nails because there's just that coat of gel there and the others have acrylic from a bunch of other sets. So it just looks different and yeah, but not too different. So I don't mind it. Let's see, the length is 
almost exactly the same here. Looks decent here. So I'm going to apply some acrylic now. now. I have filled in all of my nails except for my middle fingernail, which I will show you now. I'm gonna pick up a decent amount of acrylic on my brush. It's pretty wet. I'm going to let gravity work for me and kind of float towards the cuticle here. I just use my brush ever so slightly to guide it. Also, there was basically no apex, so I'm trying to build that up as I go here. So I'm gonna put a little bit more product than I normally would because I need to literally build the apex of the nail while filling it. All right, I tried there. It's not the best, honestly. All right, so it is filled. I'm gonna put some more acrylic on it because it is still super thin. And I just wanna make sure that it is strong and I want the shape to last and be the same as my other nails. This is one week after, so my nails are grown out a bit, but it looks smooth, it looks great, it looks just like any other nail, and I'm very happy with it. So you don't have to soak off your full set of one, two, three, go soft cover nails if you don't want to you can fill them with another product or you can you know soak them off and start all new thank you for watching the video all the way to the end i have a special shout out to my aunt and uncle thank you so much for the great and personalized christmas gift that you got me i will show you in one second i got this bag from them to hold different nail supplies that that are in here and it says gabby's nails though and they also made me this really nice gabby's nails though christmas tree ornament that i'm going to keep safe in this plastic because i love it and i think it's so sweet and nice that they did that for me so thank you i really appreciate that and i hope you like the little shout out that i'm giving you overall i hope you enjoyed the video again if you didn't hit that like button please do that and please subscribe. I would love to see you again in my future videos. Thank you guys. Have a good one.